Hey folks, Will here again with Happily Ever Outdoors. So in this quick tips video, we're gonna talk to you about how to sharpen your knives out in the field using the WorkSharp Guided Field Sharpener. So keep watching. All right, folks, so I found this little spot here to uh, bunker down with a little bit of top cover. There's not much out here right now. The canopy is uh, pretty bare. There's a little bit of a uh, snowstorm that's coming through today. So uh, you gotta take the shelter you can get. But weather conditions like this are a great example as well as you know when you're just trying to travel light and compact and simple of why a good all-in-one sharpening system is gonna make things a lot easier for you. But the point of this video is to go ahead and demonstrate some basic sharpening techniques for you guys out in the field. So let's get to it. All right guys, so once again, what we have here is the WorkSharp Guided Field Sharpener. You don't have to use this one, but this is one that I particularly like for use out in the field because it's got everything you need in one package. You've actually got two uh, diamond sharpening stones, one on either side, and these are gonna be different grits. You got a heavier grit um, for if your knife is really worn down, chipped up, beat up, that kind of thing. Most of the time though, for just your kind of honing and sharpening up in the field, you're gonna use this lighter grit side. It also comes with ceramic built in. You can see you've got like a little coarser ring there as well as this long ceramic sharpening rod built in that you can turn and you can see you've got some different patterns there. Um, this you're gonna be able to use for actually sharpening serrations, which is really nice. As well as this one here that's a little bit finer. And then just your regular uh, honing rod. Another really nice feature, and this is what makes it guided, you can see these ramps they have on either side. So what that's gonna do, and I'll demonstrate in a second, is allow you to keep the proper angle. Uh, keeping a proper angle is always important when you're sharpening a knife. A 20 degree angle is gonna be right for most knives, and this is gonna kinda help you um, to keep that right angle. You've also got a leather strop built into the side right here for getting that final polish on your blade. So you've really got everything you need right here. So this is gonna work really well for small to medium sized knives. Um, this is just one example of a good knife right here. And uh, in order to use this thing, all you're gonna do is again, you've got that guide that's gonna give you that proper angle. So that's what's gonna get you started. And you just wanna make sure you keep that proper angle. Now you wanna make sure that you stay even with your strokes. Some people do you know, just one stroke that way, one stroke the other, one stroke that way to keep it absolutely even. And you can certainly do that. Um, I generally have a habit of kind of doing two strokes on each side and then alternating. But the main thing is you're gonna get the sharpest edge if you keep that consistent. So again, that's gonna be your step one. Um, if your knife is really beat up, chipped up, you're gonna wanna start with the coarser grit but most of the time, you're gonna go ahead and just use the finer grit. Now, the amount of times that you're gonna to wanna to do that is really gonna depend on how dull your knife is, how sharp you're trying to get it. So that's the kind of thing you just kinda of pick up with practice. All right, so for step two, you're gonna go ahead and use your ceramic honing rod. You're gonna to try to do the same thing, keep it approximately that same angle, and you're just gonna, again, try to keep even strokes, alternating, keeping a good angle. And remember, when you're doing the ceramic, you don't need to push too hard. You're not really trying to dig in, because if you're digging in and kind of pushing the angle of the blade up too high, you could be actually kind of doling your edge down again. So just be kind of gentle with it. The more familiar you get with it, you know, you may speed up. But uh, you don't need to overdo this. You shouldn't have to do it for a very long time. And this is gonna kind of take what you sharpened up with that diamond stone and just kind of bring it up to the next level. Now, if you've done a really good job of sharpening your knife, sometimes what you'll see, because that edge is gonna get thinner as you sharpen, right? There'll be small burrs, or there may be even really, really tiny ones that you can't really see. So that's what the leather strop is gonna help take care of. So when you're doing the leather strop, you're actually gonna to wanna to do the opposite. Rather than going forward with the knife, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and pull back. So you're pulling back against the um, cutting edge of the blade. And you're just gonna alternate like that. And you can do like shorter strokes. It doesn't have to be like super precise on this part of it. And what this is gonna do is just kind of polish up your edge just a little bit more to really get it to where it is nice and sharp. And if you've done a good job, you shouldn't have any problems cutting paper, 
um, cutting cordage. Now using techniques like these out in the field with a sharpener like this, you're not necessarily gonna get that, you know, razor sharp, hair splitting samurai sword edge on your knife, but this is gonna be plenty good enough to keep you a good working edge that's gonna make you effective and safe while you're out in the woods. All right guys, I hope this quick video on sharpening knives out in the field was helpful to you. If it was, we always appreciate it if you'd give us a thumbs up. Also, if you're not subscribed to our channel already, we hope you'll consider doing so so you can keep seeing more videos like this. Feel free to leave your comments and questions in the description below. And until next time, stay happy, stay outdoors.